everyone, we are the reporters for Basic Calculus Module 7. I am Krisha Jake Mutia. I am Stacey Faith Navarro. And I am Kirjan Eric Aspanugo. And, and we are going to tackle the chain rule of differentiation. After going through this module, you are expected to first illustrate the chain rule of differentiation, second solve problems using the chain rule. Definition of terms. Chain rule of differentiation exists for differentiating functions of another and are within functions. It is a procedure to calculate the derivative of a composite function or simply to differentiate a function within a function. The chain rule involves taking the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and multiplying it with the derivative of the inner function. The outer function is y and the inner function is u. The general chain rule formula is f times g prime equals to f prime times g times g prime where f and g are differentiable functions. It can be easily understood if we rewrite the formula into Leibniz notation. Formula derivative of y with respect to x equals derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x. For us to differentiate a function within a function, we have to do two things. First, substitute and differentiate u equals to g of x and y equals f of u. Step two, we need to use the chain rule formula, which is derivative of y with respect to x equals derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x. Here are six examples of using the chain rule of differentiation. Example number one by Stacy Navarro. Example number two by Kier Panugao. Example number three by Krisha Mucha. Example number four by Kier Panugao. Example number five by Stacy Navarro. And an additional example by Krisha Mucha. Example number one. Suppose that we want to differentiate y is equal to x squared minus nine raised to four. So the first step is to identify the value of our y and our u. y is our outer function, so y is equal to u raised to 4. u is our inner function, so u is equal to x squared minus 9. So the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 4u raised to 3. The derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2x. Remember that the derivative of a constant is 0. The second step is to apply our chain rule formula, which is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x. So derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 4u raised to 3, this one, times 2x, our inner function, is equal to 4, copy the value of our u, x squared minus 9 raised to 3 times 2x. So the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 times 4, 8, 8x, and copy the x squared minus 9 raised to 3. So this is, the fi this is our final answer. Example number 2. Suppose we want to differentiate y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 9 raised to 4. So the first thing that we should do is to substitute and identify y as our outer function which is equal to u raised to 4 and u as our inner function which is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 9. The derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 4u raised to 3. If you are wondering how did it became like this, we just use the power rule here. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Copy the u. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. The derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2x minus 3. If you are wondering again how did it became like this, we just use the power rule. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Copy the x minus copy. Then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. We don't need to copy the x anymore then. The derivative of a constant is 0, so we, do, we don't need to copy the plus 9 anymore. We are now moving on to the second step, which is to apply the chain rule. So the formula 
in the chain rule is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 4u raised to 3 which is came from the derivative of y with respect to u times 2x minus 3 which is came from the derivative of u with, with respect to x is equal to 4 u we just need to get the value of this which is the inner function e x squared minus 3x plus 9 raised to 3 times 2x minus 3 since we cannot simplify it further we just gonna rearrange this we just use the inner function first then the outer function so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 4 2x minus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9 so that is the final answer example number three suppose you want to differentiate y is equal to cosecant times the quantity of 7x. So first, we need to identify the value of our y and the value of our u. y kay mo ni siya ang atong outer function, while u is our inner function. So y is equal to cosecant times the quantity of u kay mo man atong outer function, while u is our 7x kay mo man ang inner function. So, we need to identify the derivative of u with respect to u and derivative of u with respect to x. So, the derivative of y with respect to u, okay. So, the remember pa ninyo sa lesson na to, sa derivative of trigonometric function, the derivative of cosecant times u, kay negative cosecant times the quantity of u, cotangent times the quantity of u. Well, the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to derivative of 7x kay 7. Step 2, we need to apply the chain rule formula, which is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x. So, isubstitute lang nato mga value nga nakuha nato dari a. So, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u kay negative cosecant times the quantity of 7x kay moman ang bali sa itong u is substitute na nato cotangent times 7x i-multiply nato sa so the derivative of u with respect to x which is 7 so i-multiply nato na siya so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant times the quantity of 7x cotangent times the quantity of 7x so this is now our final answer Example number four. Suppose we want to differentiate y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 25. As you can see, there is no inner function and outer function here. So what we are going to do first is to factorize then substitute. y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 25. y then add the expression y plus 25 is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 25. Factor the expression, then move the constant to the right. So it will gonna be y plus 25 is equal to x minus 5 raised to 2 plus 25. Eliminate the opposites. Then y is equal to x minus 5 raised to 2 plus 25 minus 25. So the final factorized answer is y is equal to x minus 5 raised to 2. So our factorized answer is x minus 5 raised to 2. Then we are going to identify the y as our outer function which is equal to u raised to 2 and u as our inner function which is equal to x minus 5. The derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 2u and we just need to power rule then 2 times 1 is equal to 2 then copy the u the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 1 it is because we use the power rule 1 times 1 is equal to 1 we don't need to copy the x anymore then the derivative of a constant is 0 so we don't need to copy this anymore the second step is to apply the chain rule formula. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u 
times derivative of u with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to u is 2u times the derivative of u with respect to x is 1, which so is copy. Then we will get the value of this, which is the inner function x minus 5. Copy. Then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So our final answer is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 x minus 5. So that is the final answer. Example number 5. For instance, Bukidnon's temperature is at 22 degrees Celsius and Davo City is at 30 degrees Celsius. Driving at 70 km per hour, the rate of increase is 0 0.0016 degrees Celsius per hour. If the road goes southeast, the rate of temperature is 0 0.034 degrees Celsius. How quickly does the temperature change when you drive from Bukidnon to Davao City? The chain rule now has two terms, and we can translate it into temperature with respect to time is equal to temperature with respect to distance of 1 times distance with respect to time plus temperature with respect to distance of 2 times distance with respect to time. So the first step is we need to substitute. So, so temperature, res temperature with respect to time is equal to 0 0.016 the value of R. Temperature with respect to distance of 1 times 70 which is the value of R distance with respect to time. Plus 0 0.034 which is the value of R temperature with respect to distance of 2 times 70. So the second step is we need to apply or to apply the chain rule in this case we just need to multiply the inner terms then add so 0 0.016 times 70 is equal to 0 0.112 plus 0 0.034 times 70 is equal to 2.38 so our final answer with the temperature with respect to time or the value of our temperature with respect to time is equal to 2.49 degrees Celsius Therefore, the temperature rises at 2.49 degrees Celsius at 70 kilometers per hour from Bukidnon to Davao City. Example number 6. Y is equal to 3x plus 1 raised to 8. First, we need to identify kung unsa tong value sa Y and value sa U. Y is equal to U raised to 8. Muna siya atong outer function. While U is equal to 3x plus 1. Muna siya atong inner function. So, the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 8u raised to 7. Gamita na to siya drag power rule. Well, the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 3. Kay derivative sa tong 3x kay 3. Well, derivative sa tong 1 kay 0. So, 3 na lang ang mabilin. Step 2, apply the chain rule formula which is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x. So, diri ka i-substitute lang nato itong mga value na nakuha na ito, diri ang step. So, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 8u raised to 7 times 3. So, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 8. Substitute the value of r u, which is 3x plus 1, then raised to 7, times 3. So, I multiply na to, mahimo siyang 24, 3x plus 1 raised to 7. So, this is now our final answer, or the derivative of y with respect to x.